Hello everyone. I wanted to share this drum with you today. I'm going to show it to you up here up close and then I'm going to play it a little. This is a drum that I've been looking for for a while. I recently picked it up. This is a late 1960s Premier Chrome, maybe Chrome over brass, I'm not sure. Uh, Royal Ace snare drum. It's a 4x14. It's a really great sounding drum and this one is in pretty good shape. No pitting. Of course Premier's Chrome plating was second to none. It's rare that you find a lot of pitting like you do in some of the Ludwig drums uh, on this these Premier drums. Really made very very well. So uh, this has this parallel strainer mechanism that goes uh, through the drum and there's a rod that goes all the way through the drum. You can if you go online you can search. They'll show you some pictures on the inside of one of these things. I'm not going to take it apart right now. Um, and as you use this strainer, that rod tightens and keeps those snares perfectly level, which is great because you end up not getting a lot of snare buzz because of it. Now the problem with these strainers is over time, this, these proprietary snares, as you see they're connected, they kind of hook into the strainer and they'll stretch and then you lose your tension on your strainer so you won't ever be able to close it or you know have it on all the way. Now this one's still got a good deal of life and you could probably have a custom set of custom made snares welded but it would be kind of a pain in the neck to do it but it's definitely possible to do that. One trick that I've done with these I do have some uh, wood models of this drum that are six and a half and they're beautiful but but they're not you know they sound great they don't sound any any better than some of my really great wood drums, but this is a real special drum. This has a definite sound to it. So what you can do is you take some industrial strength Velcro, <laughs> and I know that sounds funny, but uh, they do make Velcro that's heavier than normal Velcro, and you can just stick a piece here and stick a piece here on this strainer, and then when you uh, turn it on, it'll grip. So if you have a challenge with your snares being stretched, that will fix it. Of course, it's not a great fix because then when you turn it off, it's, it's difficult to do it. But if you just leave it on for a session or something and you don't need to turn it off, that will work. And I've used it on another model, a six and a half that I have of this model drum that's super loud. I don't use it that much. I'll probably end up selling it. Uh, now, of course, this has the old tension rods that are slotted. You can see that. Kind of like the sonars, but these are rounded on top where the sonars are flat. So you do need a special key. I wouldn't suggest using a flathead screwdriver. It's really hard to work with that with these and it will mess up the lugs. It's got the old Premier badge on there. The muffler works really well. Of course, I don't use internal mufflers, but it's got that nice little round muffler and that's all good. So the drum is in great shape for being, you know, this old, 50 years old plus. And uh, the hand I'm going to have on here, I'll play this in a little bit for you. This is just an Evans um, 56 calf tone. I'm going to put some calf heads on this. I've just um, taken some off some of my drums because it's getting really humid here. Uh, but this head is fine. Uh, I'm, these are kind of like the old fiber skins where they, they'll start to bubble on the top when you play them a lot. This one's pretty new, so it's in good shape. And I think that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you. Just, just the snare thing is pretty important. Now, this is a heavy drum. It could be chrome over brass. I don't know. Like, like, like I always tell you, I'm not an expert on these. I'm not really a collector. All the drums I buy, I use for the most part. So I know there's some people who just collect these drums. They probably know everything about them. But I just know from using it all the time, pretty much, that these strainers... You know, I've had ones where they completely lose their grip on reality. <laughs> and what happens is they're, they're, they no longer function because the snares don't have their tension anymore. So that's something to look out for when you buy one of these. Because if that happens, it's going to be tricky. You can try my Velcro trick, but, you know, then you can't really turn it off. And it's really important that this knob and this knob in this complicated strainer be perfectly balanced so you can get the best possible response. So we'll go over to the drum kit and I'll play a little for you. So we're here at the drum set and I got the drum set up and I'm gonna play it for you first without the snares. Then I'll put on the snares halfway through here.
So this drum's got a feel to it. It's very responsive, partly because the size, but also I think because the weight of it. It's very heavy for a drum this size. So it's probably brass, like I said earlier. It also rolls really nice. extremely sensitive. Kind of almost like a concert snare drum, a classical snare drum, uh, with the um, wire snares, not the gut. So uh, also this drum does not buzz as much as most of my others if you listen to this. So that's a really big benefit there, and that's because of that uh, strainer, the way the snares sit on the head, so they're not as sensitive to the, um, the extra vibrations you get from the toms, because they're perfectly level. So that's a big deal as well. So that's a, a great way uh, to think of this snare drum as if you don't want to have that extra buzz. I, I don't have a problem with snare buzz. Some, sometimes it really adds to the high end of the drums, the sound there. But, but other times in recordings, it can get a little monotonous. And certain snares, they're really uh, bad about that. Also, with a four inch drum, you can get it tuned pretty high without choking it out. So. So it sounds really good with this kind of kit, this kind of tuning, you know, with calf heads. So that's pretty much it. The Royal Ace snare drum, it's a great drum. Just watch out for the strainer. Make sure before you buy it that it's functional. Uh, you know, have it confirmed that it doesn't slip. All right, we'll play a little more and we'll call it a day. Mm -hmm. 